<laughs> Hello, He-Man. Oh, yes. Just a defiant here, uh, chilling. I literally lost sleep over this. Oh, there it is. Walking through here with Mr. Santastic, who's somewhere, where is he? He's, uh, yeah, it's, I feel like you must feel at home, literally, in your own basement. Yeah. yeah. Mine's actually, believe it or not, a little more organized. Uh, believe it or not, I don't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my buddy, Ken Austria. He sent me a text message of something earlier today, about midday today. Ooh, that rhyme delay. He sent me a picture of something that I would love to see in person, more than likely pick up as well, over at the Target in Mount Kisco, New York, a place that at this point, now that it's rush hour, that is a store that I am not going to get to realistically today. So I am going to do my best to get there tomorrow, first thing in the morning, before work. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this item is still there, and I'll be able to capture it on video for all of you. However, today, I do want to kick this hunt week off with at least one store, and that store is going to be Target White Plains. And that is where we are headed right now. So without any further talking, without any further Skeletor references, noises, sounds, and imitations... Off to the hunt we go. We have arrived. Kicking things off here, Target, White Plains, a little Beyblade action. And that's enough of that. Flipping around into wrestling here. Right off the bat, Series 17 Ultimate Warrior. Those head sculpts look great. Both of them look really good. Some Molly Hollies, Seth Rollins, Old AW. That looks like it's it for Series 17 here. An ultimate, ultimate warrior. Found him in our, our last hunt. And moving over into some Star Wars Black Series. Jumbo Boba Fett, the Jumbo price tag. This guy's 41 plus dollars. Let me know in the comments who's picking that up. Not I, said the fly. Uh, flipping around. Wow, it's a lot of D&D. A lot of D&D. I am passing on this cartoon line from Hasbro. But this is the first time I'm really seeing this stocked on pegs. So that's kind of cool to see that, but I just don't need it. And I'd probably, you know, I'm not going to talk about windowless packaging anymore, but... And these things have QC issues, you know, bad ones from what I've seen online. Again, I'd be willing to maybe deal with that if I could see this in person, but I can't, so whatever. Anyway, it's like that's beating a dead horse. I don't want to talk about that. Look at this. We found two of these at the Target in Porchester in our last hunt, and both of the decals on the Ground Ripper were terrible, so... Or terrible to me. Terrible to an insane OCD person. But at first glance, these look good. And I think this is a pickup here today. Awesome. Very excited for that. We'll put this down for a moment. As you can see, not really in any danger of anyone taking that at the moment. Nobody is here, which is nice. Credit collection, full peg of a slew. Soka. Some Avatar, another peg of a Soka. Any other Origins here that's new? No. Buzz Lightyear stuff. And doing a little dance back around here. Marvel Legends. Zombie Tony, this is pretty cool. McFarlane DC, some Hawkeye. Loki, more What If. And these are, it's great to see all of this stuff. Bats and Vipers, Python Patrol in full effect here once again. Someone needs to get that, those movie Joes out of here. Stocked with She-Hulk. 
more what if, a lot of Marvel Legends here. Got some D&D &D dice. Oh, this is cool. I didn't even know that this existed. Opens up into a dragon. It's pretty cool. Rakor. More D&D. &D. Ooh, right in front of my face. Missed him a couple of hunts ago. Not this time. Duke and the Ram. Crockmaster Fiona, Snake Eyes and Timber. A lot of Joe classified here today. Some new ones at that. Very nice. Um, I think I'm going to pick this up and we are going to move our way into dinos. This Indo Raptor looks new for sure. Daddy Dino, Craig Tello, let me know. And we have these. So everybody hates these, right? Everybody hates these. I might be the only person on the planet <laughs> that might pick these up and like them in box. It's Mikey and it's Leo. I, I don't know. I might come back to these before I go. Do want to hold on to this guy as we move though, across the aisle here, or towards the end of the aisle, I should say. You know, Dino's looking like the same old stuff for the most part. And anything on the send cap? Wakanda forever down here. I think that's it for the main toy aisle. Let's head over down into the NECA section through the suitcase aisle, very demented, and see what we have going on over here. Funko Pops, reactions. I see reproduced Star Trek Playmates, Hocus Pocus. Got a Hudson sighting down here. I am looking for the new McFarlane Dragons release. I'm definitely on the hunt for that. Otherwise, I'm not seeing anything all too new. Why don't we put this guy down for one moment? Black and white Lon Chaney. E.T. all dressed up. And I think, folks, that's going to do it for Target White Plains. But this is a score ski. Oh, wait a second. Let me not end this just yet. We have this end cap that we can check. We got a Playmates Peanut Head Shredder. Good luck with that. Good luck selling that. Another Jumbo Boba, some Gundam. And now folks, I think this Target run is complete. Target Mount Kisco, the very next day, you can hear a pin drop in here. First thing in the morning, sort of first thing in the morning, I guess, whatever first thing in the morning is to you. It's like 9.30 in the morning. Wrestling. Same old stuff for the most part. You know what we're here for. I'm not even going to pretend. Oh, yes. Ooh. This is what my buddy Ken sent me over text message yesterday. He said there were two Frankie L. Skeletors. Two still here today. That is miraculous to me. So we're definitely going to pick one of those up. Princess of Power, Frosta. Whole peg of that. Evil Inn. No new origins. What else do we got? Dinos. So anyone that has been following along here with the channel over the course of time, we're gonna go just grab this. I don't wanna risk it. You guys know that this is easily the biggest, the biggest, NECA section out of any of the stores. 
in my area, surrounding area. And here it is, check this out. It's pretty big. Got some pops, Martian Manhunter, Justice League, that's pretty cool. A lot of pops. And above that, Super 7 stuff, reactions, some Playmates, Star Trek, a NECA 8 inch, soft good horror stuff, soft goods horror stuff. And the heavy heat typically will be found here for NECA on this shelf. There's nothing really out, new, for the most part that, you know, you guys haven't seen already, whether it's this channel or a million other ones. Some Toonie Terror stuff. I came for this guy and we found him, so that's great. There is one other aisle. That's a part of the main toy section that we'll check out right now. And we're gonna skedaddle, let's see. So we were just right here. And typically, Holothon, Geekathon, whatever-a-thon will be on this end cap or that end cap. But nothing promotional of the sort is going on right now. A lot of Marvel Legends, as you guys can see. First time I'm seeing Namor, or what are they calling him now? I don't know. Namor. Whatever. Packed with D&D. Gelatinous cube, that's cool. Had no idea some of this stuff was coming up. Tiger Force, a lot of Joes. Put down Mr. Frank there. The Outback, case of that. Some bats, more bats. Some Vipers. Wow, this place is stacked with Joes. What else we got? Transformers. Necron. First time seeing this. This is a big, big guy. Wow, this is awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. Little barcode action on that. We got a Joker Titan back there as well. And wait a second. What is this? Holy guacamole. What is this? Damn. This is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Gorilla Grodd, holy crap. <laughs> and that King Shark. Rest of the Transformers. Looks like there's another one back there. And that, folks, is going to do it for Target White Plains. I, it's crazy. I literally just walked past another Duke and Ram. I can't. The windowless stuff, I just like... I miss it every time. It's unbelievable. We're getting out of here, and don't worry, I will put that back down on the bottom shelf. And we have arrived at day three and the final day of this hunt. It is Saturday, January 14th. It is 9.05 a.m., and we are headed back for the very first time here in 2023 to the Imperial Castle. If you haven't already, go check out my full store tour, store crawl from barely, just barely two weeks ago. I will link that in the description of this video below if you want to check out every square foot of that place, including the castle dungeon. Go check that video out. Today, just to level set a bit, it's not going to be another store tour, store crawl. It's a little too early for that since I just posted uh, one of those not all too long ago. But today, I'm heading back there to settle some unfinished business as well as pick up at least one major grail piece that came into the shop just this week. A couple of major items came into the shop. I'm looking to get some footage of that. I'm looking to pick up one of those things. I've already put in a claim for one of those things, so you guys will see all of that. We'll hang out with Mr. Syntastic, who I will also link his channel in the description of this video below. Great guy, wonderful collector, wonderful collection, one of the best I've ever seen. He has some awesome collection videos, awesome toy hauls. He does the toy hunts. He's on the live streams with us. He does it all. Go check him out if you haven't already. It's going to be a fun day. So with all that said, we're about 50 minutes out. I should be getting there around 10 a.m. Not that you care what time I'm getting there because the next you see, I will be there like that, 10 a.m. or not. It just doesn't matter. Just like that. We're back at the Imperial Castle. Mr. Syntastic, you've had 
uh, what, maybe uh, 30 minutes or so to walk around is, and, and formulate my, some sort of my, opinion? My mouth has been on the floor, and I don't think I've taken a breath. <laughs> it is incredible. It, it is. And like, speaking of incredible, look at this. Just a defiant here, uh, chilling? Yeah, just chilling. Look at you. I mean, it's it's uh, one of the greatest toys of all time. It's incredible. It's not obviously perfect, but I mean, how often do you ever? I mean, this is amazing, and it Dude, displays think, really, really, I really I've well. I've seen it in person, quite quite honestly. But like, look inside of it. I mean, my God, this displays really, really nicely. And this is one yeah, of a few new additions here as of, I mean, not even two weeks. This was last, it, no. It wasn't here when you were here a couple of weeks ago? No, this was new as of this week, I think a few days ago. Dude, I've passed here twice. I didn't even notice this. Uh, these two like, little bins here. There's, there's stuff everywhere. It's crazy. Look at all these jewels. The amount of digging that needs to be done here to oh, properly no. assess everything it's, cannot be it, done in, it, it, in 24 hours. No, I mean, you would need a week. Yeah. Yep. And that's just upstairs. Yep. Okay. Are they all in the bag? Yeah. This thing is so <laughs> awesome. Boxes right here. The, the yeah, the I'm just still drooling over this. What are you looking for? There was a Tower of Doom oh. right here. And now it's not. That would not surprise me if that is gone. I'll have to double check, but that is one of the things I initially I came for. I moved it. Oh! I, I took care of you, jeez. Thanks, John. Apparently not. No, I'm just kidding. No, I got it. I, I moved it to the back because I knew you were interested, so I figured, let me just move it, and then if someone else found it, so be it, but I got it for you. Th that's, a, that's a sweetheart. So there's that, and then, um, I don't know if you're... No, he's over there. A million oh, other right. things catching catching his eye. No, that's take your time. Like every single time I walk by, yeah. Didn't come for this, but yeah. it's really cool seeing sectars also. Something you don't really see every day, but this guy, as of yesterday. I literally lost sleep over this. <laughs> I'm not joking. I was so excited that this thing came in that I I, I lost some sleep last night. It's too bad I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I, I figured we'd have to... Uh, Wrestle around for oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. and look at that box is really nice yeah, too. It's actually not bad. And then it's 100% uh, complete. We actually ordered the missing chair because it was the only thing that was missing from it Ooh. was this. So we went out and we bought it so that way we could complete. It. But there you go. Amazing. That's a that's a for sure ski. That's a no brainer. Yeah. And I, I that thing displays so nicely too. I think that the yeah. whole the whole line displays nicely. It's a very loose. undervalued line. Like yeah. I don't know why, like the vehicles for this, like they're like nothing. 10, yeah. 15 bucks for a lot of the small vehicles. The right. This is one of the, this might be the most undervalued nineteen eighties toy line. I love that indie. I know. We were just talking about this uh yesterday on a live stream. Yeah. But that's that's the real deal right there. It's just stuff everywhere. So we were talking about this earlier. I'm not, you know that I'm not a Transformers guy, really, but I've always had some weird affinity for, like, the Pretenders line. This Skullgrin, I, I love that. He's and, my and, favorite. And He's my favorite in the no line. I idea of what it was. I just, uh, it's, like, one of the only ones that I do know of um, and happens to be here. I I just really like that figure a lot. I'm not going to buy him, but it's so funny. that is cool. Like, these figures are so much smaller than how you remember them in your mind. Yeah. From like when you were a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to break this guy out in a moment and take a look at that. Um, so you did got you? A, you got a pretty big Navy pile today. Yeah. Or is it a definite pile? It, it's a, oh, it, it's a definite. So here he is out of the box, Cthulhu, with his wings. This thing, we were just talking about it. This thing is awesome, right? It's phenomenal. Unfortunately, the wings don't really sit well. Mm -hmm. on his back or they're, else I, uh, uh, this would have been in the yeah yeah this would have been in the definite pile if that were not the case but man i absolutely love this and i may have to track this down in the future but very very cool stuff here we also found some battle beasts which are 
Where to put those? Oh, those are back up by the front. So we'll go check those out next. You ever collect these as a kid? No. No battle beasts for you? I used to have these. I don't think I ever had like any play sets or anything, but I, I had a ton of these. And I, I couldn't tell you what was series yeah, one and what was what, but I used to love, I think it's one of those I used to love these. Where, and you don't, I feel like, like you don't see them too often either. These just came in as well, apparently. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Like, I'm unfamiliar with them, so that that's the thing. It's like, we're just not for big of an age difference. Yeah. Where yeah. there's like certain things which... Significant yeah. different in, in interest. Yeah. In cer certain lines. Certain, certain lines, things. yeah. We were just talking about that, right? With yeah. Marvel stuff. And, and we're, 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 what, six years apart. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. These, are, these are really great yep. to see, and, and they look like they're in good condition, too. Yep. Oh, these are so cool. I literally don't even remember the last time I held yeah, one of these. Probably, probably when I was a kid. started the whole thing, and then we acquired well, there's only like three puzzle pieces, I think. I, I think there's, there's yeah, uh, Cardinal, White Mountain, and uh, Rabbitsburg. I More mean, stuff Rabbitsburg to decide from before we too. I think, um, finish that. Oh, I think the cantina's right here. I think this was down yonder before. Did you see the cantina? Yeah. Cantina's awesome. That was also on yeah. my mind on the way back. This also looks great. Yeah. You know, a little, little uh, shellacky there, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, I love this. Back down here in the dungeon basement in a little Toy Biz Marvel section, walking through here with Mr. Sintastic, who's somewhere, where is he? He's, uh, yeah, it's, I feel like you must feel at home, literally, in your own basement. Yeah. yeah. Mine's actually, believe it or not, a little more organized. Uh, believe it or not, I don't believe that. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on, and there's, a ton of, it's crazy to say this, a ton of new stuff since I was last down here, you know, barely a couple of weeks ago. There's the Rage Cage Toy Biz Hulk that I'm definitely taking home. Found it right here. And with all the other Toy Biz stuff in this rack, which is pretty awesome. Because initially what caught my eye, I found this here the last time, which I also might, I'll probably take that too. This is the Loose one of the loose and probably the biggest wall of loose figures down here got some motu some remco karate kid up top looks like some bootlegs right in here some rocky photon looks like a collector's case thundercats i don't know if i remember that from last time honestly got the sarge right here some more vehicles a ton of vehicles down here a ton of vehicles. If we swing back around, look at all this. The Terradrome with the Firebat mostly, mostly complete and looks really good. Okay, guys, we are back home and that is going to do it for this one. Wow, this place is amazing. If you are a vintage toy collector, you have to check out this store. It is absolutely incredible. I think today, which was my second visit ever to the store, I think the haul that I came home with today outdoes, outshines the first haul that I came home with barely two weeks ago. And during that time span, several very rare vintage items have come into that store, one of which that I picked up here today. If you want to see everything that I picked up, here today. I will be putting out a toy haul video in the near future, so be on the lookout for that. If you want to check out an incredible vintage toy shop, come to the Imperial Castle in Pauling, New York. I will put the information, the store information, in the description of this video below. It was great seeing my buddy Mr. Sintastic. I also will put his information, his channel information, in the description of this video below. So go check out all of that stuff. And with that, folks, that's going to do it. Speechless, unbelievable. Also, before we go, I do want to mention I brought things to trade in and I was very happy with the value that I received for all of the items that I brought for trade in. This is the second time that I've brought stuff in for trade and the second time that I've been very happy with the value that I received. So thank you, John, once again for that. And that's going to do it, folks. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will check you on the next one. This place, honestly, is un-
believable. Uh -huh.